My name is Anthony Gentile, and thank you for watching my video series. And this is this will be the last episode on how to maintain your car. And today we'll be doing an oil change on this 2018 Subaru Impreza. So here we have all of the oil change supplies for the car. We have a oil filter, the correct um, weight of oil, the oil drain pan. We have a 14 millimeter wrench a 10 millimeter wrench and two new oil drain plug crush washers so as you can see on this subaru and present the engine oil filter is very accessible it's right up here right at the top other makes and models might have them on the side of the engine or on the bottom of the engine so consult google to see where your engine oil filter is um the engine oil cover cap it just allows you to fill your oil so in order to drain your oil you're going to want to loosen this cap and if the filter is on the top such as this one just lightly loosen it just so the system has some air in it and then i will meet you underneath the car to drain the oil so looking underneath the car we need to find uh where the vehicle's drain uh pan bolt is i looked online i googled it and according to google this is it right here 14 millimeters this is the oil drain pan bolt and that is the bolt we will be taking off to drain the oil perfect so now that your oil drain pan is right here we're going to go up we are going to locate the drain bolt which is right here it is already a little loose perfect so now we are going to just unthread this by hand here it comes my hands starting to get a little dirty from it perfect I was right on the money and now that the engine oil is draining we can see that this oil is not too bad a little darker than expected but nonetheless, not terrible. Perfect, and once this is done spitting everything out, perfect. And this is the drain bowl right here. We're gonna have to replace the drain plug on as soon as this is all done. So now that the crush washer is back on the bolt, we're just going to stick the bolt back in the hole. Well, it's all right. If there's a little bit of oil still coming out, I like to hand thread the bolt all the way back in first. That way I ensure that there's no cross threading. And once the bolt is tight to the, for your hand, give it a nice wipe down with this blue rag, always. Flip the wrench from right to left. Going back up here. I'm gonna tighten this bugger. Just hand tight. Not too tight. That's it. Hand tight. So now with the engine's drain plug back in the engine with the crush washer installed and tightened, only hand tightened with a Torx wrench, we can now remove the engine oil filter. So as we did before, we previously, it was just spun on there. So we could just spin this sucker off. And because this is a top loaded one, the engine oil just dumps right out of the filter back into the engine. So this is the old engine oil filter right here, this old Subaru one, and this is the new one. You always wanna make sure that they got the same part numbers on them, which these ones do. They're the same size and everything. Perfect. So now we just gotta get to installing it. So installing the engine's oil filter is pretty easy on the Subaru. So um, what I like to do and what you should always do with your engine oil filters is always lubricate the O-ring right here. So I like to do it like this. Get a little lubrication on there from the old engine oil filter. Or I like to just, just dump just the top part of it in the old engine oil. 
So that way there's a little bit of oil around this seal. So next time when we go to take it off, it'll be easier. As with this, just hand tighten this sucker on right here. Perfect. So now that that is on and tight, we're going to fill the engine back up with oil. So I actually was able to find a filter, which makes my life significantly easier. So we're just gonna pour the oil into here. Got about two quarts left. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Perfect. So there is that. That is done. So now what we're going to do is put the engine oil fill cap back on and tighten that because we are not done just yet. And now we are going to check the engine oil. So here is the engine oil stick all the way right here. Pull this out, give this a good wipe down because it's got some old oil on it. It's got some new oil on it. It's got everything on it. Perfect. Give that a second just to sit in there. Pull it out. The oil is not accurate because we are on a slope. There's no point in doing that. Okay, perfect. So now that that is checked, we will go and start the car. So now we're gonna have to let the car run for a little bit, get the engine oil circulating, and then we will lower the vehicle and check the oil. So now we are going to lower the car off of the ramps, start it, and check the engine oil. So now that we are done filling the engine with oil the oil filters on the drain plug is installed and we looked underneath the vehicle for any leaks we are going to check the engine oil right now so the car was running for a little bit i turned it off just to get the oil circulating to get an accurate reading so put this here come on there it goes give it a few seconds in there just to let it get the correct level let everything settle perfect Pull this out and it looks to be perfect right on the money as you can see the oil goes all the way up to the dot perfect all right this engine is done i just want to thank everybody for watching my video series on how to properly maintain your car and hopefully i've taught you a thing or two um thank you all for watching and i hope you all have a great day goodbye